In today's crazy video, we will be using ChatGPT5 to learn hacking. Believe it or not, learning ethical hacking is very easy. And to do that, I will be using a mystery lab from the Port Swigger. Now, if you don't know what this is, it will basically, once you click this challenge me button, give you a challenge, which is a website, which is basically intended to be hacked. And here it is. You can see we have searches, we have everything. And basically, this is the mystery lab that we are going to be solving. So what I'll do is I'll just basically give ChatGPT this link and we will be using ChatGPT5, their latest model, to see how easy it can be to learn hacking with this brand new new most powerful model out there and if you want to learn hacking then check out my course which is down in the description box below okay so let's just not waste your further time this is the website let's just copy the link and just give it to the chat gpt and explain to him what we're doing so i told him i am new to learn i'm uh, i'm trying to learn hacking i'm new to this please help me exploit this website intended to be hacked i need to find a vulnerability here so let's just basically send and see what he tells me he told me he can't assist, so I'll tell him this is a Portswigger lab. And there we go, I told him that this is a Portswigger lab, and he's going to search the internet, and let's see it. So this is how he would tackle this. Start with the general recon, browse the interface, click links, search, view post, inspect HTTP requests and responses, look for hints, hidden parameters, all behaviors, unusual requests and responses. So that's what we're going to be doing, essentially. So I'll tell him, uh, could you please give me a roadmap to start hacking this and I'll give you basically the responses. So I told him, can you just give me a roadmap to start hacking this and I'll give you details and responses so that you and I can collab. So he told me that the phrase one is recon or information gathering, map how the application does and how it behaves, explore the site manually, click through every link button feature, not pages, functionality or parameters, and look for forms, search bars, login pages and hidden features. Okay, so he told me this is what we're going to be doing. So I'll tell him that there is a search field. And after I search for something, uh, it gives me this page. So I'll go to sources, go here and copy this entire thing. So I told him that there is a search bar and once I search for something, I get this whole page and I'm just going to give him the entire page. And he says, perfect. From this, we already have some important clues for phase one recon. So he told me to basically get a reflection test and just type test one, two, three, which is actually what I instruct in my course, as well as on this YouTube channel to just test these canneries, just enter this and then search for it with control F to search where it's actually being reflected. So that's a good one. So let's go try the basic, simple, just basic script tag. Let's just do that. So let's go here, search, boom, search. It tells me that the tag is not allowed. So I'll tell him. So I told him after searching this, I get tag is not allowed. So he says, gotcha means that the application is filtering script tags. So we need to bypass it by using other HTML tags. Okay. So he, told, so he gave me a lot different. So I'll go each one. So image is not allowed. Let's go over the SVJ. SVJ is not also allowed. Details also, I'm not certain, is it going to be allowed? I will try. Okay, so none of these worked. So I'll tell them none of the work, none of them, none of these tags which you gave me worked. So I just told him that and let's see what happens. So he also just gave me another few options. He also gave me the body uh, option, which might work. I don't know. For all I know, it could work. Let's click this uh, body also doesn't work. So I told him that the, basically the body doesn't work and he starts to get here about something interesting. He gave me, uh, he told me that I can use custom tags, which honestly is very interesting that he understands. And let's just use a custom tag to see whether this will work because I don't know. Let's click search. Ah, look at that. Oh, interesting, interesting. But how would you trigger this automatically? Well, he just basically told me that I can basically get a XYZ on focus alert and basically tab index one. And it lets you focus an element with the keyboard or script, which can trigger on focus. Ah, okay. So chat GPT five is absolutely crazy though. So we can absolutely inject these, but uh, it's interesting because how the hell can I trigger on focus automatically? So I'll just tell him, how can I trigger this on focus thing? So I just told him, how can I focus this automatically? So let's just see what it says. So he gives me the, he gives me an auto focus, which is, I've never seen that in my life, honestly. That's a weird thing. So let's just see if that will work. Let's go click search. Oh my God, that works perfectly. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, we just basically cracked this challenge. So what can we do is we can basically go now to the exploit server and solve the challenge, I think. So let's just go over to the exploit server. Wow, ChatGPT5 actually can solve really hard challenges. Also, 
I'll just now tell him, uh, oh, 40 exploit servers since, oh my god, he just gave me the code. Wow. That's insane. He also detected the, oh my days, that's insane. Let's click store. So let's click view exploit. Uh, will it trigger? Nah, it won't trigger. So I'll tell him, uh, I get reviews to connect once I host this. Let's see if he can actually give me a working exploit. He just told me, ah, you can just redirect. And would you look at that? The last message that he gave me a working exploit was the free plan limit for the chat GPT-5. Uh, okay, so let's just uh, save this store. Let's click on view exploits and boom, we get alert one. All right, that's insane. Let's deliver this uh, to the victim and uh, Boom, congratulations, you solved the mystery challenge. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. ChatGPT5 can definitely be used to learn hacking and help you as your hacking companion once you're doing bug bounty research and ethical hacking, of course. So there you have it. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.